Hi guys! So today is actually really exciting. I am assembling Johnny's couch and this is something that I have literally talked about for about a year now and finally today is the day I'm going to assemble the couch. So I actually have the pattern pulled up on my iPad and I have been looking at it for the past couple of minutes and I'm getting to get a little bit stressed because it's a little bit of a complicated instructions on how to assemble the pieces and then I have to cut the foam and sorry I look like a mess um then I have to cut the foam to make the actual couch so it is gonna be interesting because I've been looking at the um elements of the couch and I already have two extra pieces. The instructions don't even mention some of the pieces so I'm gonna kind of eyeball it and see what I can come up with but I thought I'd make this video because you no know, this is not my pattern. I'm using Yarnspirations Kitty Couch is what I believe it's called. Yeah Crochet Kitty Couch. So I could not find a free crochet pattern for a couch except this one so I thought I'd make it and I'm just going to kind of walk you guys through it because this is something I did read online that was the most challenging was putting that couch together so we're gonna work through it together and I'm sorry if the lighting's not super good it's kind of I think it's like 2 30 but you know with daylight savings or whatever it is it starts to get dark a little bit sooner in the room I'm in right now which is the craft room is not super super light and so please bear with me but yes so let me show you guys what I am working with okay so here are all of the pieces so the, these two pieces right here are what I am talking about of them not even really mentioning what to do with these two and then I have this these little pieces right here and these are like the cushion gussets and those are not mentioned at all you don't even actually see them in the picture so here is the pattern so this is what the couch looks like and the gussets are supposed to go around the edges but as you can see they're flat so they don't even use those pieces so i don't know why they were even in the pattern and yes i know that the base is too toned i ran out of gray um i ran out of so much yarn on this as you can see it was supposed to just be a green couch and i ran out of green so i go to gray then i ran out of gray and so there's like a second little gray tone right there so with that being said we're gonna take a little look at the instructions so this is what i'm working with so we have the back the cushion slash seat in the armrest is what i have to sew together so let me grab those so that is going to be this is going to be the top and the seat like the top cushion and the seat this is the back of the couch so this okay so we're gonna try to match this diagram and see how we can do this so i'm gonna set that aside right here so this piece right here is actually going to swing around like so um the smaller edge is going to be down here which is for the seat and then the top edge is going to be right there and then the back piece is going to match up with this so we're going to match okay so this is how i got it which kind of looks like the diagram so we're going to actually sew this together and see what we got going on so wish me luck i gotta go sew this part up here and sew the armrests on and see what that looks like so i will be back in a little bit to show you guys what that looks like okay so it is actually a couple days later and i'm still working on johnny's couch and i'm now at the part where i'm gonna start cutting the foam and by the way i the cushions i was talking about that they don't actually mention i just did polyfill and stuff them and I didn't make them super super fluffy and big because my cat does not like super super fluffy and big so I didn't do that 
he likes more flat stuff and I think with the foam and everything he's gonna like that more and that's just gonna be kind of like a benefit for him it will be the polyfill type but um so let me show you guys what I got and what we're gonna do I sewed like I said the cushions I did that and I did the um back the seat part and the armrest are sewn on so now the next part is to um I believe it's the and so the base, but I'm actually going to wait to do that. Um, so yeah, let me show you guys what I got for the foam. Okay, so this is the foam I got, and it's just from Hobby Lobby. So this is the 4 inch 22 by 22, which we're going to have to kind of finagle a little bit because I need it to be a little bit bigger, but we're going to work with it. And then the 3 inch 22 by 22. So, yeah, this one was $20 and this one was $30, but they were 30% off, which was very, very helpful. So, that was the nice thing about it. So, I'm actually going to go get a bread knife and start cutting. And I'm just going to use a Sharpie, which I set some with. Oh, here it is. I brought a Sharpie so I can actually, like, measure out what I need. And then I have my iPad here so I can see this is what you do with the three inch and then it tells you what to do with the four inch. And then I have to get out a hot glue gun and start doing that. So yeah, I'm going to start cutting and see if I can get it to look like a couch. Okay, so it's been a couple days again because I've been working on this couch for a week now. And I know that sounds horrible. It's been almost a week almost a week I've been working on this couch. And so I have cut out the pieces, end up being a huge ordeal cutting out the pieces. And it was a mess. I had my dad help me because I just could not get it to work very well for me. So thankfully my dad came and helped me cut the pieces for the couch. And here it is. I am sewing the pieces on right now. I know I didn't really show you guys what the pieces looked without. There was definitely a lot of finagling that had to happen. Sorry, I'm really zoomed in. There was a lot of finagling that had to happen to get this couch to look good. So there's just a lot to keep it balanced and everything but yeah this is what it looks like I'll show you a little zoom in piece of like what I'm working on right now but I'm almost done I'm so excited this pattern is horrible with their measurements their measurements are completely off I've had to finagle a lot of stuff and just kind of make it fit a lot of the pieces the measurements were too big it's so my gauge was off on one of them so that was my fault but on some other parts of it it wasn't me, it was their measurements, which is definitely a little bit frustrating because I had to tuck some of the extra fabric into it so you can't like see it. But anywho, let me just show you guys where I'm at so then you guys can kind of see a little update. But yeah, so it's been a couple days. But yeah, here, let me show you guys what I'm doing. Okay, so here is what it looks like with the cushions on. So currently I am sewing around the base. As you can see, there's little white, little white fuzzies from the foam everywhere. And my cat actually threw up. That's what this is for. So please ignore that. But actually like the cushions are typically not on there. Um, but this is what I'm talking about that I had to like tuck the extra fabric because it was super loose here. So I had to actually like tuck fabric right here. And so that was a little bit frustrating, but I have the, um, part of the base and then this is the actual base, which I'm actually gonna have to fix because this is the, um, piece that my gauge was off. So it's a little too big for it. So I'm gonna have to kind of fold it and make it look like it fits when it actually does not But yeah, so I'm gonna continue sewing this around and then I'm gonna flip it over and then sew this on and then hopefully I'll finish this tonight. I'm hoping I can get this done, but yeah, and then I'll show you guys the finished product. I'm so excited. Okay guys, so I finished Johnny's couch! I am so excited! Last time I saw, um, last time I popped in, it was a couple days ago. I've not been really consistent on filming. I've been very much, like, a couple days in between each segment. But it's finally finished and I'm so excited! And I am just happy it's done. I've been working on it for over a year. It's finally done. So, I thought I would talk to you guys a little bit about the pattern real fast. Um... Just because it is a free pattern, it is on Yarn Inspirations, and so it's on their website, it's free. 
I found that I used more yarn than it said it called for and I also found out that um, the measurements were pretty off with this project um, so just keep that in mind if you do make it. I ended up using five skeins of the Joanne Great um, Value um, Value yarn. It's just their acrylic yarn. It's basically the their version of Red Heart Super Saver. So I used five skeins of that. I ended up using three skeins of the green and then I had to bring in a gray color. I actually ran out of the gray color. I did not have another skein of the gray so I had to finish the last like four inches of the bottom piece in a different gray color, but no one has to see that. Um, but yeah, and the measurements were off. I've kind of talked about that throughout the whole experience of doing the foam and everything. The one thing I will say is when you make the cushion part, they do have you make kind of a gusset for it. You do not need to make the gusset unless you want to do maybe foam to make it thicker. Um, I just did a single crochet to um, around it. So to sew it together, instead of whip stitching it together, I did single crochet and um, I stuffed it with polyfill. Um, if you use their gusset to go around the gussets like two and a half inches, um, you could do foam if you wanted, but I just did it like this. And even on the picture, that they have on their website, it doesn't have the gusset on there. So I'm not really sure why they even have you make the gusset. So you do not have to make the gusset if you don't want to. But it turned out really cute. And I'm super excited. And Johnny's been sleeping on it. So, but he's not on it right now. He's actually on the chair over there. But let me show you it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. There is a couple fuzzies on here just from the foam. Oh my gosh, that foam cutting it was like horrible but this is what it looks like i am so excited so yeah i know the cushions look a little flat he's been laying on it and he's actually already pulled up a stitch because that's just who he is but i really like how it turned out i think it's super cute um so this is what i talked about in one of my um segments is i did have to kind of stuff a little bit under here um just because it was a little too long this piece right here but I just think there was a couple of the measurements were a little bit off in the pattern um nothing a little just fudging it I mean that's what sometimes you have to do with patterns but it did turn out pretty cute I'm pretty happy with it I did not add the dust ruffle just because I didn't really want to make that to be completely honest so it has a little bit more of a modern look to it, but I'm really happy with it and he likes it and that's all that matters. He's actually over here sleeping, which is kind of sad. He's not sleeping on his couch right now, but he was sleeping on it this morning. But yeah, so I'm super excited about it and is he going for it? You gonna get on your couch? Oh there, perfect. He's gonna actually show you guys him getting on the couch. So yeah, he likes it for the most part. He might be upset because I moved his cushion. But yeah, it's he likes it a lot. And that's all that matters. He it's like he knew it was made for him. But yeah, so there is little Johnny showing you guys how the couch is, how much he loves it. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if it was kind of everywhere. It was a little hard for me to film just because, like I said, there were days in between of me filming, and it did take a long time to actually put together which was a little and just kind of being a little frustrated because I had extra pieces trying to figure out because like for the cushions there are no instructions on how to even do the cushions that's why I just single crocheted them together and then did poly polyfill in them because I just there was no instructions on how to do those at all so that's what I did because that's what it looked like on the picture that they did but yeah so I hope this video was somewhat helpful and you just kind of got to see how I made it and I'll have the pattern link down below for you guys if you guys want to check it out like I said it's on yarn inspirations website but I'll find it for you guys and have it linked down below and I'll also link down the yarn I used too but anyway guys I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next video bye